Former Buccaneers tight end Jimmy Giles was cut from the same cloth as Rob Gronkowski only three decades earlier. Giles is still waiting for his call to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Well, actually, I, I definitely think I should get a look. Giles was a generational type tight end, the third player, first offensive member inducted into the Bucks Ring of Honor. The only problem? The game was much different back then. You know, I committed myself uh, to being the best all-around football player that I could be. And that, first of all, as a tight end, you had to block. He was drafted by Houston in 1977, then traded to the run-first Bucks in 78. He played 13 seasons and went to four Pro Bowls as one of the game's greatest blocking tight ends. You get paid by blocking, but you get recognition by catching passes. Giles didn't catch in quantity, but quality. As a Buccaneer, he caught a touchdown pass with every eight receptions. Actually, there's only three players in the National Football League that average uh, over 14 and a half yards per catch in their entire career, and I did it for 13 years. He was a player that opposing teams would specifically game plan to stop, including one of the greatest defenses in the history of the NFL, the 1985 Bears. There were not many players that we kind of fear to talk about uh, when we put our game plan together. Uh, but when it came to Jimmy Giles, but it would always talk about how good Jimmy was, how big of a backer he was. So we would a lot of times you know, find out way, find ways to double team him. The Pro Football Hall of Fame Senior Committee will select its nominees in August. In Tampa, Kyle Berger, ABC Action News.